Hello everyone, Olga here. Welcome back to my channel. And here we're going to be finishing off this look. I'm going to show you a very soft look that I'm going to create. I'm going to use um, some of this wonderful Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette that I showed you in the first video or I think second video. And I'm going to also show you um, the product that I used to uh, highlight and do the blush and then we will do matte lipstick and we will seal off that whole look. So keep on watching. So I'm going to take on this brush right here, brush number four, Wayne Goss, and I'm also going to use my color switch in between to be able to clean off my brush in between colors. So I'm going in with a very light color and I'm going to highlight the brow bone right here. I'm highlighting my brow bone and I do have a beauty spot right here. There's nothing I can do about this. Normally what I do is I just go over it. If you have any birthmarks near your eyes or like a beauty spot, this is what I like to call it, just go over that with a highlight. Sometimes I use that to my advantage. I would use some glitter to apply onto this beauty spot to accentuate it and kind of bring it out instead of hiding it in. Uh, remember, this is all uh, natural kind of beauty type of stuff, so I'm not trying to hide necessarily or conceal it. So I've highlighted the brow bone, I'm cleaning the color, switching between, and then I'm going to go in with um, another kind of a soft color right here, and I'm going to apply this evenly on the eyelid. This is going to be a very soft look because I'm, it's not an evening look. It's not some place I'm going to be going out necessarily. So I'm showing you just a very soft morning look because what I noticed lately is that it's like 9 a.m. in the morning and the girl is coming out and she has, oh, I don't know, uh, this crazy eyeliner going and all this stuff and it's just a morning. Um, kind of like, what what is going on? You know, you're not in a nightclub or anything, so why are you having this much mascara on? So I'm going over, kind of just filling this in. And remember, this is going to be a very soft look. I'm not trying to create anything crazy. Just give my... Um, and again, cleaning this in between. And now I'm going into a little uh, darker, kind of like ombre looking color right here. And creating a, tucking it into the crease. If you have hooded eyes, you would like to put this a bit higher so that when you open your eyes, you can see this beautiful color that you have created. So I sort of have hooded eyes. A lot of times I would do a look and then <laughs> you can't really tell what I have unless I go like this and close my eyes because it's all hiding, which is okay. So like I said, right now we're not trying to create anything crazy here, outrageous, and just going in and putting this color in, kind of highlighting naturally where the light would hit you. And this would be kind of a very natural look for work or if you're going out but it's a daytime where you don't want a lot of things on your eyes. And by the way, I just want to say a few words. I'm going to have a separate video on this, but Wayne Goss brushes are absolutely amazing. Prior to getting these brushes, I was thinking, okay, so right, I don't have a lot of experience with makeup. I'm like I said, makeup enthusiast. I love just trying out new colors and things and if you spend money on nice palettes and you have crappy brushes or cheap brushes you just wasted your money on expensive palette if you are already trying to bite into that then bite a bullet and get yourself nice brushes do not get a set that has like 
20 or 30 brushes that you have no clue how to use, you can go on to like a butylish.com or you can, you can get these Wayne Goss brushes. I just have a few of them. That's it. I don't have a lot of brushes. So like I said, this one I used before for filling in my uh, brow and this is a precision brush number four. Um, is it number four? Let's see here. No, number five. And I'm just going in with the same brush and going to like create a little bit of a color in and going to tuck it in right here into the corners. Like I said, I'm not trying to create anything crazy here. Just kind of give us nice shadow where the natural shadow would hit your face. And before I had these brushes, I had some other cheaper brushes and I was thinking, my goodness, I'm really bad at this. I'm bad at makeup. I don't know what I'm doing, which is still probably true, but <laughs> I was not having a lot of luck. I would have these beautiful pigmented brushes, uh, pigmented uh, shadows and people would show these swatches and they're wonderful and everything works except for the brush. So do yourself a favor, invest into a nice set of brushes. Do not get million and then some brushes that you can't use only so that you can say you have a buttload of brushes that you are not using. Have just three or four brushes for your eye makeup. Have one or two blush brushes and just do that. Do not do something crazy like invest a lot of money and then you cannot use the wonderful palettes that you purchased. So there we have it. I'm going to just be done with the eyeshadows for right now. Like I said, this is a morning look. This isn't crazy. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I normally, I'm going to address that in the future videos, do not really use eyeliner that much. I will explain why. So if you want to know, keep on watching. I'm just going and applying a little bit of mascara onto my eyes right now. And now I'm going to do this eye. There you have it. I applied my mascara. Right now I'm going to move on onto the highlighting palette and this is by again Anastasia Beverly Hills with a collab of Nicole Guerrero and we have seen that palette before and I'm going to show it to you again. I know it's all over internet and everybody's using it and loving it. So again I'm going to go in. This is my Wayne Goss brush number 10. And this is, again, natural goat. And I'm going to go in into the kitty cat, like this. Now I'm going to just apply it to my cheekbones. Usually I like to mix my highlights I do not just use one, I like to pair them up and you absolutely can pair them up. You can put three highlights and give yourself a more, you know, glowing appearance. If you love this beautiful glow, I mean, usually what I will do is I then will go in with something like a, oh, possibly, possibly glow getter. And it's this one right here. I'm going in and I'm going over the first one that I used. I used the Kitty Cat. So I'm going with a glow getter. What I love about this palette is what I noticed. Some of the colors are darker. They can work as your eyeshadows as well. So if you want to go ahead and pack on that lid a little bit of the eyeshadow, and you know, instead of eyeshadow, you can use something like this. You can go ahead and use this daydream. You can just pack that on and have yourself. So these palettes can be quite universal in terms of usage. Um, and there we have it. We have crazy amount of glow getter. Now I'm just glowing to the gods. And there we have it. Um, so now I have that. If you want to go, you can add a little bit of blush. I usually do because I don't want to look like I'm a ghost. And I have this Givenchy blush and highlighting palette. I'm going to show you. It's a little guy right here. 
and that's what it looks like. And I got that, I thought it was, smells really nice. I mean, it smells like perfume. Can I just say, smell check, beautiful. It has this little square, which is, this is I love. It has a little square that covers the colors so that when you open up your little guy, your palette, you don't have the color smeared all over the mirror where you have all this dust and stuff. So this is kind of nice. I mean, this is a luxury brand. It came with its own little brush. I normally do not use the brushes that come with these things, even though it's a luxury brand, brushes that they put in, I mean, they're tiny. It's really hard to control these things. I, again, I would just use my Wayne Goss brush. And this one is their, it's, I think it was called like um, an anniversary brush or like a universal brush or something. It doesn't have a number on it. And I don't think they, uh, the Beautylish has another one of these. I might check again. But this kind of has like a spatula appearance, as you can see. It's not round all over, it's a spatula. So it's really nice, you just can go in. And something else I wanna say, it picks up the product beautifully because these are natural hairs. And a natural hair, I mean, if this was a silicone or not natural fibers, you would be going in and going in and going in and going, my goodness, this pigment isn't good. So right there, you see it just do one and you have it and then you kind of smile and apply it to the apples of your cheeks. Right there. So, usually I just like to smile, that way I know where I'm applying it. Like I said, not a makeup artist, just makeup enthusiast. And you can, of course, by all means, do whatever you want. This is uh, now the liquid lipstick. This is Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick by Maybelline. This is color 10, and I'm going to apply that. Beautiful. And now that we have almost completed, the final touch is the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray uh, Long Lasting. So this, this thing will lock it for 24 hours. Although I do not recommend wearing makeup for 24 hours. There's absolutely no reason for you to do that. Eight hours at most, seriously. It's not that great for your skin to have it for 24 hours, but do, of course, as you wish. This is just my opinion. It is not a, a rule of any kind, so there. So now we are setting it, the makeup is nice and set, and I just need a little bit of fanning here to dry everything. So this look is now complete. It's a very natural, girly kind of look, um, not too much. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please let me know in the comment section down below. I will list every single product that I used, and I'll see you in my next videos. I love you. Bye!